agent serving at the African Union mission in Somalia, known as AMISAM, has deployed a new battle group to support ongoing peace operations in the country. The Uganda commander of Air Forces, General Mabior de Mabior, Waldut Madin Tut, held army officers for the great job in Somalia. The general had a press brief earlier on today about the ongoing mission in Somalia. Well, 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 well. Currently, our forces are at the forefront of ensuring peace in the most dreaded part of Africa. I'm not saying we are saviors, but for the people of Somalia, this is salvation for them. Hello. Okay. Okay. Really? Got it. Donna, I have an appointment with the general. Ah, oh, he's expecting you. Okay. Ingia. Sir, Jeff is here. Oh, Jeff, my man. Yes, sir. Good to see you. It's good to see you, sir. You have been lost. Well, I've been doing quite some work for you. Okay. And I have a lot here to show you. Oh, perfect, perfect. Captain Lucas? Lead pilot, Mogadishu mission, remember? Oh yeah. Pleasure, Captain. Yes. Jeff is my ear yes. and eye on the ground. I see. Now that both of you are here, let's get down to business. Captain, any update for me? As planned, departure is on Sunday from Soroti to Eldoret, then to Nanyuki where we'll refuel before touchdown in Mogadishu. And your team on ground? Yes, they are. Though we had a run-in with the ground crew in Soroti, but it was sorted. Look, Captain, this mission will either make you or break you. It cannot fail. I will not disappoint you, sir. Jeff, any food for me? Actually, yes. I uh, just received a very crucial phone call that's likely to cause a drastic change in the plans for this mission. My mission? The mission? But I thought this mission was leak proof. <sighs> it's the prophet. He called me and he said he foresaw UPDF choppers headed to Somalia and they crashed on their way there. I was a carny. Not on my watch. Some things are beyond our control, Captain Lucas. Like what? The weather? Come on. It is exactly why we carry out weather forecasting. This prophet predicted the tsunami and somehow even weather forecasters missed it. Angalia Jeff, this mission is too important to be abandoned because of a mere prophet and his predictions. Sir, you pay me to leave no stone unturned. Have I ever brought you any information that is wanting? Do you remember the tragic Kampala 2010 bombings? This prophet predicted those as well. Oh, come on. I'm serious, Lucas. Imagine how many lives would have been saved had the warnings on those bombings been heeded. But who is this prophet? Prophet Elvis Mbonyi. Sir, I thought we should leave nothing to chance. I have run a thorough background check on Bonnie, and he has a tremendous record of accurate predictions. 
Apparently, those birds will fall from the sky. Nimechoka na story za prophet. Shut him up. Sir. He cannot be bought. What do you mean he cannot be bought? What kind of a man has no price? The kind of man that snubs appointments with presidents. Sikiliza Jeff. This mission is a serious order from above and it cannot be abandoned because of a man and his counter predictions. See you next week. Okay. I'm not yet done with you. I'll just be a minute, sir. Do you have any idea how much I've drank for this opportunity? Look, I was just doing my job. Yeah, your job is interfering with mine. Look here. If I hear any of these prophet nonsense again, I will adorn your face with your teeth. Captain! Sir! You've made your point. Some informant of the general wanted to throw me off the Amazon mission. How? He was talking about some prophet who claims he, he saw La Chopper's crash on the way to Somalia. No. Don't worry, honey. I already prayed for you. And God does not give someone more than they can handle. Okay? Okay. Yes, sir. I'll see you, sir. Ugandan army helicopters that were headed for war torn Somalia have crashed in the thicket of Mount Kenya. Three Ugandan MI-24 combat helicopters that were flying to Somalia to support African Union troops battling Al-Qaeda-linked Al-Shabaab insurgents have crashed on Mount Kenya. The cause of the crash is said to have been extremely bad weather as further investigations and the search for missing soldiers continues. When someone can tell the future, the world ought to take heed because some consequences cannot be undone. General, all my life in this business, no information has shaken me like this one. I wonder what's the secret behind these predictions. What else does he know? This story is inspired by actual events. In 2012, Prophet Elvis Mbonye prophesied the bombings of the UPDF choppers on their way to Somalia. The Prophet made numerous attempts to warn the authorities against this move. This creative work is in honor of the unprecedented, unmatched prophet of our generation, Prophet Elvis Mbonye. We love and honor you. That is basically the element of the prophetic. It is to subdue the nations before the throne of God, that they may recognize that the Lord, surely the Lord is God. And so, it's not the politicians, it's not the parliament. All these guys can come up and debate all they want to, uh, you know, but God has foreseen it. And God knows you take that action, it is deadly. You take this action and prosperity comes. 